and water is coming out. Oh no! Hey Vivets! I'm back and today we're going to be checking out these six new items from Polly Pocket and they're called Tiny Games. Because I like to check things out for you, that way you can make informed decisions before spending your hard earned money. So if in depth reviews like this are your jam, then make sure you subscribe to this channel before you move on. That way you don't forget about me. Cause y'all gonna miss me when I'm gone. <laughs> now I picked these up at Toys R Us here in Canada for $7.99 each and unfortunately when I was trying to find them elsewhere, for people who might not live in Canada, I came up empty. The internet let me down. So if you get the chance and you're interested yourself, make sure you search up Polly Pocket Tiny Games and maybe by the time you search for them, they'll be more readily available. So essentially what we have here are thinner cubes that are hollowed out with a little scene inside and we'll fill them with water as well as these little things in the front and perhaps even our little Polly doll, I'm not sure yet. But basically what we're going to be creating is one of those old water toys where you would push the button, sending those little pieces moving around and the goal is going to be to try to catch them on something that's sticking up and in this case it looks as though it might be an octopus. It's a little hard to tell through the packaging because there's so many layers but once we open it, it will all be Come clear. So like I said, there are six in the collection and that's going to include this teal or aqua colored mermaid one with an underwater theme, this purple outer space one with little planets and rockets, this orange one which has unicorns and rainbows and pink clouds in the background although it's almost impossible to see it, a blue one with another mermaid and underwater theme but it is different from the first one, a pink one with an arctic theme I think going on behind her because I see penguins, a narwhal, and something made out of ice. And lastly, we have a light purplish pink one with a spring theme. So there's big flowers and little bugs and stuff like that. Now, because there are so many to open here, I'm just going to point out the packaging on one because to be honest, they are all pretty much the same. In the front, we can see which character we're getting as well as the color and theme of our actual little tiny game. A small little button on the right side, which is going to actually move everything around once we add water. And along the bottom, it warns us that there are very obvious small parts and that these can be a choking hazard. Then on the back, it shows us the instructions for opening, filling it with water and resealing so that we can use it. And that's about it. So I'm just going to open these up quickly so we can check them out before adding water. Slice open the top, push the button, and pull your little gaming device out. Oh, that's so cute! So this one here is the teal one, and now that it's out of the package, I can see that it looks a bit more like a Game Boy or other handheld device. So we've got some fake buttons at the bottom alongside the very real yellow heart one. And inside the heart shaped screen, we can see a blue octopus, light pink sand, some fake coral, purple seaweed, and if we flip it around, there's another little window here with more bubbles, fish, sea stars, or starfish, coral, and seaweed. On top, we've got a light blue plug with a little water symbol on it so we know exactly where to put it, and of course, reseal it. And that's pretty much it for the actual little handheld game. But before we add water to it, we'll need to add the extra little bits. And for that, we'll need the little plastic heart in the front. We've got our little poly figure and four little accessories. So we have a little pastel orange star. Ooh, I can't hold them, they're so small. A purple hoop, a small pink heart, a yellow hoop, and here is our Polly figure. So she has a brown skin complexion with pastel purple hair, a green tank top with a pearl necklace and a pink star on the front, and a bright purple mermaid tail. And I'm really excited because it looks like they've changed the Polly figures. Now they have a joint that allows them to move below the waist. This is very much like the older Polly dolls, but unfortunately this will not make them compatible with the old Polly sets because they don't have a base or platform at the bottom that would stick inside those compacts. Either way though still very exciting because now the dolls can actually sit inside their sets and not have a weird gummy leg sticking out. <laughs> All that's left to do now is pop everything in and add water. One, two, three, four, and our Polly doll. Will she actually fit in there? Oh she does! All right just like that. Ah! Okay so I did have her standing up very nicely in there but now she is caught in the depths of the octopus's tentacles. So I'm gonna go ahead and add water and see if we can free her. Is it leaking? <sighs> I hope it's not leaking. I hope that's just dribbling out. I guess we'll see. All we do is push the button. See if we can free our mermaid. Oh, there she goes. And water is coming out. Oh no. I'm hoping that that's just leftover. 
So funny enough, I can get the mermaid to move in very interesting trapped positions, but I'm not able to move the little shapes onto the octopus. I'm kind of wondering if the mermaid is in the way. Oh, there we go. Come on, get out. Uh, okay, the mermaid is just blocking everything. Yeah. Unfortunately, it seems like the poly figures are definitely in the way, so maybe don't put them in. I mean, the choice is yours, but it's definitely taking away from some of the fun. Also, if you did leave them out, then you'd have more figures to use in other play sets. But I mean, that's your call. Currently, my poly is stuck, so I'm just gonna leave it and move on to the next one. Next up, I'm gonna go with the springtime fun. These are not their actual names, I'm just naming them. <laughs> So here's what it looks like inside. It's two large pink flowers with yellow centers and lots of green grass. And then in the back, we have some painted butterflies, bees, dragonflies, and ladybugs. And this time, we're not gonna be catching hoops on a limb. Instead, we're gonna have small objects like this little orange and blue butterfly, pink and purple ladybug, a little orange bee, a little blue dragonfly, and lastly, we have our poly figure. So this one here has a pale skin complexion with orange hair, a yellow tank top with a pink flower, and green skirt, tights, and shoes. And once again, she's got that movable waist, and we'll be able to pop her inside. But based on that first one, I really don't know if I want to. I feel like it gets in the way. So I'm a little torn, but maybe this one won't get in the way as much because she's got legs instead of a tail. I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Pop her in. She is standing right now. So far, so good. Let's add water. Oh my gosh, I'm missing the hole. <laughs> Fail. All right, I got it. Let's just close this and then clean up all the water I spilt on the table. Oh, you can't see it. Let's just pretend it's not there. Wow, look how dry it is. Ta-da. See, no mess at all. Oh, wait. Is that leaking or is that me? What is happening here? I don't know! All right, so the water is in. The poly figure has in fact fallen and now it's time to see if we can catch ourselves some little bitty bugs. It probably doesn't look like very much is happening. And that's because you're right, nothing is happening. Ugh. She's definitely trapped in there behind that giant leaf. Hold on, I got her, I got her, I got her. Okay, ready? Try again and catch a bug. Oh, I caught the ladybug, huzzah! Yeah, I said that, <laughs> come on. Like, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to catch the poly? Like, that's not gonna happen. I guess we caught her in the leaf. <gasps> oh, the little bumblebee. He's on top of the water. Can you see him floating there? I'm gonna call out a win. Oh, it's in, it's in. Maybe we need more water. Stand up. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna quickly add more water. See if that helps. Okay, I'm back. And unfortunately, I lost all my bugs. Ooh, it definitely builds pressure. That's helpful. Look at that, we're learning as we go. However, water is also seemingly coming out from the button area, so that could be problematic, or it could be excess. I still haven't figured that out. Mm. Oh gosh, no. It's definitely seeping. <laughs> That's not good. All right, let's try this again. Give me the bugs. Come on, come on, come on. See, Polly's in the way, or Polly figure number redhead. Give me a bug. Okay, we got the Polly figure. I'm gonna call her Anne, because she's got red hair like Green Gables. Oh, I caught two bugs, I didn't even notice it. Ooh, I want the bee. I gotta do it gently now. Come on. <laughs> what is she doing flips for? Just give me the bee. Okay, oh my gosh, get out of the way. Anne, go back to Green Gables. Come on, give me the bee. Give me the bee, it's... <laughs> oh, oh, I dropped it, and that wasn't even the bee, it was the butterfly. Give. Me, the bee. See, the bee keeps getting caught on Anne there, and now Anne's caught on the flower. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Um, also, the water is definitely very slowly dripping out of the bottom here, so that sort of sucks. Uh, be careful if you get one of these. Honestly, it's just glued together plastic, and at some point, something is going to separate. <gasps> oh, dragonfly and the ladybug again. Give me the bee. Oh, oh my gosh. I got all four. I got all four. Do you see that? One, two, three, four. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Uno, deux, tres, cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Oh my gosh. Upside down, Anne. Can I get her to stand? Am I pushing my luck? Get up, Anne. Get up. No, I'm losing the bugs, losing the bugs. Stand up, Anne. Can she? Oh, <gasps> yes! Jen is the champion. That's all that matters. Let's not focus on the fact that Anne is facing a flower. But I'm gonna put her down while I'm still successful. Put away the napkin and move on. This time we'll check out outer space. But I really think that I should be leaving these characters out. They are doing us zero, zero good right now. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh, I love it, I love it. So we weren't able to see it very well before, but we can see it clearly now. The purple game has big, puffy, bluish gray clouds in the bottom, a pastel yellow crescent moon with a purple shooting star, and in the back we can see all the little paintings of rockets, shooting stars, stars, and planets. On the back it's a lot more subdued than it is on the front because all the good colors are popping through visibly. And this time we have a mix of items, some to catch and some to hook on to the moon, as well as our Polly figure. So we've got a little orange hoop. Oh, and I missed already. Wow, that's a good sign. A small silver and pink rocket, a yellow star, and a small pink planet with rings, followed by our Polly figure. And this one here has a light tan skin complexion with pastel blue hair, which is separated into space buns on top. And I'm gonna call these space buns because she's in outer space, of course. She's even wearing a silver suit. And despite what I know is a bad idea, I am gonna pop her in. These are gonna be really tricky to get out, actually. Let's see, I can get all of the little pieces out, but can we remove the polys if we ever wanted to? That's the real question here. And if we can, it's not gonna be easily. Hold on. Oh, oh, there, there she is. Ooh, technically we can. Okay, that makes this better. Obviously this would be much trickier if they were wet. So if you ever do get one of these and you wanna remove them, just make sure everything has been completely dried. And you would do that by just opening it, draining the water and leaving it upside down for a few days. But anyways, now that I know I can take them out, I feel a little less sad about popping them in. So let's replace all those items, add the water to the top, seal it off, dry it thoroughly. That way we don't blame the object for leaking if it's our own fault and then give it a push. Right now it looks like she's riding the moon. Everything's stuck, she's trapped. Come on, oh, she's trapped by the plug. Hold on, free yourself. Save yourself. Okay, try again. Seriously, she's trapped again. Ugh. Get out of there, dude. Okay, I just probably contaminated it with my finger dust. All right, try this again and give it a push. Nothing's happening. Let's check her out from behind. We can't see there either. All right, so far these are really cute. I like the whole concept of putting this activity together yourself and then having fun with it. Also being technically able to use the dolls on their own as well as this device on its own without a doll in the way. However, it's not really doing much. <laughs> I wish there were two holes and two buttons. That would definitely make it easier because right now everything goes this way and then it just gets caught because there's no extra button pushing air around on the left side. And I think that's where this toy is falling short. Oh, it's so sad to watch. Currently, this was my favorite one and it's letting me down. Uh, like her head, it's down. Okay, purple is sus. Moving on. Maybe the pink arctic one will be better. And I'm gonna try this one without the character. And now that it's out of the package, we can see that it looks as though I was kind of right. It's more of an arctic scene. So we've got a big iceberg in the corner, a purple narwhal with a yellow horn, and some shimmery blue sea along the bottom. And in the back, we have some cute little penguins, narwhals, snowflakes, and hearts in pastel blue and pink. There you go. For the extra bits, we have a little yellow hoop, a pastel orange star, a bright pink heart, and a super cute little baby penguin, which is white and blue. And lastly, we have our little figure. And this one here has a tan skin complexion with some rubbery bright pink hair. And she's wearing purple glasses, which matches her complete outfit. And it sort of looks like a snowsuit. But I'm not gonna be adding the figure this time because I wanna see if anything changes. We can always add it later, it's not a big deal. So let's just skip right to the water. Fill it right to the top and push in the plug. For for maximum fillage, dry it up. So let's see if this did us any good whatsoever by omitting her from the game. Player one, ready. Um, yeah, kinda. No? Perhaps no. Uh, maybe it did absolutely nothing. But you know what actually confuses me is I filled this to the top and yes, when I put the plug in, some of it is going to escape, but where is the rest of it going? That was completely filled and there is no pool of water here. So where did the extra water go? It's baffling me, but we do have one moving hoop. So that's already better. Oh, never mind. Looks like I have the same complaint as before. Unfortunately, only things that are on the right are going to move. Anything that's trapped on the left side where there is no button and no air being pushed through the system remains trapped where there's no button or air being pushed through the system. The system in this case being our water game. Wait, wait, if you go really fast, we can sort of move one hoop. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and add that polyfig in because it's not as though she's preventing anything, is she? And go. 
<laughs> She's just swimming with the fishes. These are so cute, but also super annoying. Maybe if they were like four bucks, it would be better because at least it's just cute. But at $8 right now, they're not working. They're just a cute collection. <laughs> Moving on, pink is also sus. Yeah, I play a lot of Among Us now. Just don't judge me. This time we're gonna go with the orange unicorn pastel rainbow of orange pastel rainbow unicornness. Okay, okay. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you love this content because I'm all about them subscribers. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, just, just shush. It's stuck. Push the button down and pull this out. And Viola, oh, that's so cute. What is she trapped on? I said Viola. There we go, Viola. At first I wasn't sure how much I was gonna enjoy the orange with all the pastel cuteness going on in the back because it seemed very contrasty. But it's a bright, pretty orange if that makes sense. Still not sure how much I love it, but it's definitely better than I thought it was gonna be because it looked much darker in the package. But just disregard that completely because what does it matter what I think? If you like it, you like it and that's, that's what matters. Anywho, so now we can see we have a pearly white unicorn with a purple mane and horn, some pastel purple fluffy clouds clouds and some stars and a rainbow painted in the back. Pop her open and we'll add our charms and it looks like we're gonna have to catch them on the unicorn's horn. So far I haven't really caught any of the hoops as far as I can recall on the item that was supposed to be catching them. Does that make sense? I don't know. But anyways first up we have a pastel yellow star, a pastel orange hoop, a bright pink heart, and a light pink heart. And this time our Polly figure has a light brown skin complexion with long purple wavy hair. She's wearing a blue tank top with a unicorn on it and has a pink skirt with matching tights and shoes. And although it's next to impossible to see, she does have a little gold painted star on her right cheek. So let's pop her in and fill her up to the top. Push the blue topper in, dry off all the excess, and then give her a squish. How is that not full? It was full to the top. I'm so confused. Get over there. There you go. As long as we start off on the right side, things can happen. Land the hoop on the unicorn horn. Come on. I said, come on, 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 come on. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Come on. I wish the packages also told us what the dolls' names were so that we didn't have to look them up to find out. That's too much work and I'm not willing to put in that effort right now. I just can't. <laughs> Okay, um, if anyone from Mattel is watching, please consider adding a second button on the left side. And if you find this little bit of consumer feedback helpful and you do decide to do that and you want to send it to me to reevaluate them, I'd not say no. I'm not sure how much I am a fan of the ones where you have to catch the hoops because I can't. <laughs> Maybe it would be better if there was a second button, but for now, I'm just gonna pretend that I won so we can move on to the sixth and final game. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, which just so happens to be Polly. Slicey, slicey. Here we go. Whoop, she just went flying. Polly's a flyer now. She was a swimmer, now she's a flyer. Oh no, she's being eaten by an angler fish. That's fun. So I definitely wasn't able to see this fish through the packaging because Polly was hiding it. I mean, now that I know it's there, I can kind of see it, but it's a nice surprise in an evil way, but it kind of looks like it's smiling. So it's an evil nice fish. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have to be evil at all. Maybe they're just playing a game of trust. <laughs> so as you can see, we have an underwater scene here and it is different from the first one that we got, which by the way is definitely leaking because in this one, we have some light yellow sand with green seaweed and pink coral, as well as a light blue anglerfish, or whatever you call that, I don't know. It's a deep sea fish with a little light on his head. Disclaimer, you should never trust what you hear on the internet. If you're unsure of things, do some research for yourself. But anyways, back to this. So the backside of this blue water one is actually the same as the first one we got, just in different colors. So instead of blue, pink, and purple, we have green, blue, and pink for the starfish, fish, bubbles, and sea. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is leaking. I am not okay with that, especially because it's my favorite color. Come on, this one should have just been top notch. Why is she sniffing the ground? Why? <laughs> oh, that's so sad. So that's the end of that. Hopefully this one doesn't leak. All right, so this time we have a purple little octopus or squid, a pink little starfish or sea star, a light blue little sea turtle, a little orange fish, 
And lastly, we have our Polly doll. So she's got a pale skin complexion with blonde hair, which is separated into two pigtails at the back. And she comes wearing a blue tank top with purple clamshells, and she has a bright pink mermaid tail. And even though I don't want to, I'm gonna pop her in because I kinda wanna see if I can at least make her get caught. But of course, we're gonna need some water first. And there we go, she's ready. Her tail is already being eaten, it's fantastic. Let's give her a squeeze. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, Polly is avoiding her death. Oh, 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 that's the end of that. Shake it up, try again. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna count that, that counts. Where's all the rest of the stuff? Ah, trapped behind the screen. Wait, how deep is his nose? Oh, it could potentially go further in. Get in his belly. <laughs> go, go, go. What, <laughs> what is happening right now? Get in, get in, no, no, no. Oh, 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 cheating. Cheating. Oh, poor Polly. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Who saw that coming? Oh, that's so tragic and sad. What a terrible way to end the video. Oh, sorry guys. Oh no, he's regurgitating her. What a poor unfortunate soul. <laughs> she made the wrong deal. Okay guys, that is it for all six of the brand new Polly Pocket Tiny Games, or at least the first six in what might be the first series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure you remember to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future fun toy reviews. And also, don't forget that if you're interested in picking these up for yourself and you don't live in Canada, that you'll have to do some research on your own to find the best deals and who sells them in your area. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Surprise! I'm back with some bonus footage and some Polly figures in my hand. But why, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. My beautiful teal beauty over here was in fact leaking, so I needed to clean up a mess and replace the water. And while I was doing that, I decided to find out for certain whether or not we could remove the dolls from the little game packs. And the answer is, you can. It does take a little bit of finessing, especially in regards to the mermaid tails, but it can be done. However, I would definitely recommend using a small Tupperware or a sink with a rubber stopper. That way, you don't lose any of the super small pieces. Uh, one last cool thing I discovered while taking these out is that in addition to the bendable waist, the dolls can rotate at the hip. I don't know how I missed this the first time around, but I did. And now you guys know, and that's very, very exciting. And this goes for both the mermaids as well as the regular figures, which just makes me realize even more that I don't want to trap them inside of the little game pack. I would much rather just use the water and the tiny accessories and keep these for small play sets. You do you and I'm gonna do me, but I just figured you should know because um, sharing is caring. And that's all the info I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.